Hello, this is Warlord. What we're going to do today is take a quick look at interaction between objects to simulate an explosion and also using other objects for that explosion. Now in this basic setup for the explosion that you just saw, we're just going to use a few items. I have an infinite plane and I have the floor drug in but I have it resized and of course it fits around and that doesn't have to be exact or anything. Here in a minute you'll understand what I'm doing. And then I have the Jeep. Now all of these are physics objects. So let's take a look right quick. I have the Jeep. It's set at convex hull. You can come through and experiment with this because it will make a big difference. What we're actually doing is instead of using something to start the motion or using something to drive the motion, we're going to use the motion between the floor and the Jeep as physics enabled objects to push apart and to propel the Jeep upward. So we're not really going to have to use a bomb or anything like that just to get a small explosion. Now you can also get large ones if you want, but this is more like a lift right now. So let's take a look and see what I'm talking about. Now all that caused that was the interaction between these two objects. You can see that uh, I have this set to kinematic. Uh, you can also see it's set to box. The Jeep is set to convex hull. Again, I would always, always encourage experimentation here. And since this box is already surrounding, since these two holes, uh, bounding boxes, are intersecting with each other, it's going to drive this one upward. And what we get is force without really having to use anything else. So what we want to do now is control this in, a, in another way. But we can use a box for that also. We have a box right here. And this thing is also, of course, physics enabled. And I've got it set at 200 on mass. And what we're going to do is use it to tip this. So, there you see we've used two objects. Now you may not want that much. You can lower this. You can change where this is. But you can see right there how we're already using two different objects without using any kind of bomb or anything and getting some movement. Now let's backtrack a little and see how we got here. First thing I'm going to do is deactivate this and turn it off and we'll just have the interaction. Okay. Remember it's the bound type that matters. So if we were to change this, let's say to a cylinder, you see how far down this red cylinder goes, way down below the surface. It's going to really knock that Jeep up in the air. In fact, it's still up there. There we go. So the bounding box has everything to do with how it's going to react. And you may get some difference in reactions between a self mesh and say a convex hull right now the convex hull is a little more controllable but you can see how you're going to get several different interactions and that's just changing the bounding box on this one particular item now this leads to a problem though and that is we don't really want it to bounce off of this item when it comes back down well that's actually pretty simple you just move it to where it's somewhere up out of the way and then just pull this back out of the way. Now it'll interact with the floor like it's supposed to. Now let's take another look right quick at again how we got here, how we got this motion started. If we move this down here, you're not going to have as much motion. However, up here, you get a lot more motion. So you can play with the bounding type on both of these and also where you place the floor object. Now, why is the floor object not flying up? Well, because you can set it to kinematic, frozen, or static. Anything set to dynamic is going to react more violently. It's going to fly up in the air. So now we can come back in here, turn on our box, turn on our physics and let's see what happens now I like that so we would turn that off now that's baked in 
Now the rest of this doesn't even matter. Uh, we can uh, use them as dummies and toggle them on and off. It doesn't matter that those are even there anymore because what we want is what's already baked into this Jeep. So that's how we get the basic motion. Let iClone do the work.